You wear it like a simple backpack, but it's crammed with technology. This innovative 3D scanner's been designed to inspect this unusual underground site, a nuclear waste storage site in Finland. Spent fuel from Finnish nuclear power plants will be stored in the future at the Onkalo site. Still under construction, it's a labyrinth of tunnels several kilometers long dug into the granite at a depth of 450 meters. As a nuclear site, it will be inspected regularly to ensure adherence to European safeguards. European researchers have developed a new 3D mapping scanner to facilitate this work. The main innovation of this system is that we managed to obtain a model, a map, in real time. It also provides us with a location where there is no GPS signal, and we see in real time the differences between a reference model and the current model. So any change in the structure and design of the site can be detected. It's a working basis for European Commission inspectors and the International Atomic Energy Agency to verify information provided by the nuclear installation's operator, Perceiva. These are quite, uh, quite large uh, underground areas we are constructing, so you need uh, uh, eff effective technologies uh, to do the inspections uh, quickly and effectively. We have been helping to develop this inspection technique, so we have provided our site to be, be the kind of test area also. Undeclared structural changes would appear in red on the screen, as scientists demonstrate to us from experimental data on the basis of mapping made several years ago, used as a reference model. It's very clear that the tunnel we can see here did not exist on the reference model. Another thing that didn't exist, as you can see in red on the screen, is this door. The technology was developed at the JRC, the European Commission's research centre. It's here that the first prototype was assembled, and it's also here that today inspectors come to familiarise themselves with this new tool. While it's easy to use, its design has faced significant technical challenges. What is most complicated is the fact that we're working with data that we acquire while we are in motion, which means we need to have very fast sensors. In the case of this head part that we have here, it's 10 rotations per second, more than half a million points displayed, half a million measurements per second, with accuracy of two centimetres. This type of scanner has begun to be marketed, but research continues to further improve the system's performance, particularly when it comes to localization. Currently, the system works with a reference model. In the future, using artificial intelligence techniques, we want the system to be able to locate itself automatically, without references. Besides nuclear inspections, many other applications are envisaged in the industrial sector, but also in the preservation of cultural heritage. <laughs>